Hey guys, if you like the contents, make sure to hit the subscribe and turn the notification bell on and select all and hit that save to receive daily updated videos. Thank you very much and enjoy the content. Yo guys, welcome back to Team Assassination. How's we doing today? And you might wonder, why don't I see Hellcurt in the Hellcurt video? Well, unfortunately guys, after hours and hours and hours of Mythical Glory ranked gameplay, I have concluded that I cannot find a good Hellcurt material. In conclusion, you know, this hero is very debatable at the moment. Like whether you should buy it, should you waste your BP, if some of some of you already did, um, to that, and then find the best way to play him, right? I expect I've recommended to developers to buff the hero actually because I think the hero, the, the assassin is right now at this point is where we're weak. Like, remember how I used to say, um, Hayabusa was weak after a nerf. Well, Hayabusa was weak in team fight, but Hayabusa one on one, he's still an assassin. Right, a marksman or a fighter, for example, if you're ahead, should have no possible way to find you. Like, doesn't matter how like who the assassin, a, fight, a marksman is. Let's say you can be, uh, you know, uh, freaking uh, called Roger or a stronger, you know, one on one DCs or Yi Sun Shin or uh, we're from Moscow, um, you know, carry whatever. There should not be a possible way for. You to fight, you know, any assassin as a marksman one on one. It's just not something that's reasonable. And then, unfortunately, for that's not true for Hellcurse case, you know. Same amount of farm, if you give it to your Roger or Yi Sun Shin, they will beat your ass, you know. They will they will whoop your ass, uh, as a, you know, if you play Hellcurse. There's <laughs> no way. You couldn't win. The hero simply doesn't do enough damage. Like, Natalia can pretty much three shot that person without getting any. Without, without getting, uh, you know, having the ability for them to fight back. But not this guy. This guy is just weird, you know, like super weird. And and you would say, okay, maybe Hellcurt is a mage counter. And you might be true, right? Because because of silence. Well, tell you what, if Hellcurt can kill the mage in a couple of all attacks, I um, mean, with when the silence is active, it's still gonna die, kind of thing. If you see Dora, for example, that's equally amount of farm. Can you imagine you do a turn around and use a standard like you know two two three one combo or one three two combo on you? Like, not only will be stunned for forever, you will get you will get instantly bursted down. You know, it's it's just one of the things that <clears throat> quite uh, you know not it, it it doesn't make me happy. You know, because I expect that I made a video about you know this hero can be good, um, and then but to be honest with you, this hero is only good if you play him in a certain team comp. It does not work in solo queue, okay? I, I just put it out there. Right now, if you play solo queue in higher elo, specifically Legend and above, like Mythical Glory, Mythics, Mythical Glory, um, you're just wasting your stars, okay? You, you might be playing him for fun, which I don't really care about my stars, because I mainly play for fun. Um, but so far, I have not even have over 50% room rate with Hellcurt. It's, it just simply doesn't work. I can have 2,000, I have games where I'm 2,000, 3,000 gold ahead, I'm, I still can't have any impact whatsoever. If my team is garbage, there's no way I can solo carry. However, that's not true in the case of Fanny. That's not true in the case of Cyclops. Not true in the case of uh, Kagura. It's not true in the case of Lancelot. That's not true in all those Assassin's cases. If I'm playing Hayabusa, for example, and I'm ahead of 2 to 3k gold, Dude, I'm gonna whoop your ass. Doesn't matter who you play. You have like two people, three people come chase me. I'll whoop your ass. I'll show you how to one with three properly, okay? But not the case of Hellcurt. He can't even one on one. You know, it's the same amount of farm. This hero can't even one on one. Like, it's the saddest thing ever. Yes, his ultimate is impactful. We use all. Yes, you cannot see anything. But it's not game changing. You know, like. It's such a long cooldown that you know people don't get slowed when you're ulting. Yeah, you gain a speed boost, but you don't really have any like crawl control. Your second ability. I mean, let's do a full analysis on the hero, right? Um, before we do that, obviously you guys are watching alpha gameplay. Um, this is Misco Glory ranked, by the way. Um, but let's do a full analysis to Hellcurt, okay? The first ability is jump. It's a silence. It's great. It's fantastic. It's escape. It's disengage. It's engage. Depends on how your team comp, how your team want to play the hero, right? 
the silence I think is absolutely amazing. Now, think about it for a second. It's only one sec, 1.5 second silence, right? Um, and right after that, people are gonna dish everything on you because it's super squishy. You're not gonna jump away, right? You, you, the the thing about the hero is when you jump in, you're fully committed. All right, you know people say, oh, the cooldown is short. How long do you think the team fight lasts, anyways? All right. So basically, the hero is if I jump in with that hero, I'm committed. I'm in. You know, there's no way I'm coming out of it. And let's talk about the second ability. You have to attack five times uh, for it to do any damage or any slow, right? <laughs> Because it is, that's how it works. At five stacks, that's when you do the most amount of damage, and it does the most amount of slow. Now, how much damage does it do? A big fat zero. For an ability that requires you auto attack five times. Guys, I don't know how much you understand about auto attacking five times in a game like this, okay? If you're not a ranged hero, if you're a freaking melee fighter, and you have to auto attack five times, you know what that means? That's a death sentence, dude. That's a freaking death sentence. Now, if that's a skill that you can use, five, you have to auto attack five times, and it does insane amount of damage, like it's instant kill. I, okay, you know, like I would do the five time auto attack. I, I, I have, I don't no problem with that. You know, I, we have examples of this in uh, other games where you auto attack a couple times, and then there's a skill that will instantly kill people. But this guy, you auto attack five times, where it emits a condition up to proccing this ability. Still, when you're proccing it, it does almost no damage. The slow is minimum, you know, it's minimal. It's, it's not insanely good, you know. Compared to your Lancelot, your second ability. It touches, they got instantly slow to the ground, second ability. Not to the ground, but very noticeable slow. Any, any hero, any assassin, Natalia, you come out of passive, you all attack, you know, people get silenced, your second ability. They just cannot move on top of your second ability. It's a huge slow area. Now, what about Hellcurt? That ability, I don't know if you guys have actually invested your time at playing Hellcurt. I don't know what's your hit rate with that ability, but it's not 100%. You know, you can you can try to be like you know pretend to be a god or anything like you know anything you want, but I can I can you know like tell you right now, and you know this for sure that it's not very easy to land. It's actually fairly hard to land, to be honest, right? It's it, it, it's just the opposite of easy to land because that ability cast animation is actually pretty huge It's not something you can cast and move at the same time. You can do it You cannot do it, right? You, you have to cast and stay in place and it, it, it's like the hit is not where easy to, to land either So it's it's one of those things like you, you just don't understand five time auto attack with the ability that does like where shitty amount of damage and where shitty amount of slow, right? The most amazing ability this hero has is ultimate. And still, in a team fight, if they group like pretty well together, or ultimate is not really impactful. If they stand together, it's not gonna help you that much. You know, I can tell you right now, right? The how it's gonna help you if you're gonna, you know, try to. I made a video about how to use the ultimate properly. If you try to make a, if you try to like push a tower and don't want the enemy team to see what you're doing, yes. You know, before you jump in the Wayfair ult, so their minimap will be blinded, and then you can go in and hit the tower without anybody coming to defend this, because they simply don't know you're hitting the tower, right? Or you're trying to uh, pick someone off, their team, their team for the composition, the team position is a little bit off, and then you use your ult, you can instantly catch someone off without their entire team noticing. But, if they're standing close to each other, you know, they can actually see where each other's at, you know, there's, and if they're on voice communication, right, and know where each other's at, you all, they can still come kill you. It's, you. You can't really escape. You know, it's not like you go, you all, all, all of a sudden you become this insane god. Increase your auto attack speed. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't really slow. It doesn't do extra damage. All it does is increase your auto attack speed. I mean, like, not impressive. You know, again, it's just not very impressive. You know, I feel like as assassin role, the minimum requirement you should give, the minimum requirement to design assassin is does the assassin have the ability with a little bit of farm to assassinate, right? I mean, that's why you're calling him an assassin to begin with. If this hero does not have the ability to assassinate, then why do you call him an assassin to begin with, right? <laughs> Hellcurt is assassin, it's because of squishy nature and, you know, like, uh, because he doesn't obviously have insane amount of quad control like any other assassin, but he doesn't have any uh, quad control, like, his slow is sh really shitty, and has a huge requirement to cast. If you cast, like, with one charges, it's like a little tiny beam that's really pathetic to look at, 
You know, they have to have five all attacks. They have to be, you know, like kind of noticeable with. So it's just. I don't know why I'm like, you know, dissing on this or complaining or, you know, talking about random stuff. But still, guys, this is just what I thought. Um, my opinion on the hero, I think it's um, interesting, debatable at this point. I, I don't think it's. it's I, I think it, it can be great, just like you do. It can be really good if your team comp allows. Now, what is a good team comp for Hellcurt, right? Uh, so far, I haven't uh, been able to get a Fireman because uh, Team AE has been uh, spending time on playing, like, you know, Brutal Survival, all the shooting games and stuff. Um, so, what is a good composition, right? From my imagination, or from lo logically speaking, if you have Hellcurt, as a solo, you know, solo lane on mid lane and a top trio, right? As somebody who can peel for Hellcurt, let's say you have a Grok engage um, or have a Tigro engage, um, they jump in and Hellcurt jump in for the silence. But you can, and then still, like how much damage you can do? If you have super farm, you can do a decent amount of damage, but you need a team come for it. You need a team come that can peel uh, constantly, you need a team come that can follow up, do hard engages. You cannot play Hellcurt. On a Franco, on a Franco kind of comp, in my opinion. If you don't have a hard engage and you just rely on people's hook, and what if the you know what if the if the Franco is a god Franco and landed every single hook, you're any he, when he hooks someone, you all and the rest of the team cannot follow up. Sure, that's good. But if hook someone, if you never land a hook, you're fucked. Your 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 entire team comp just gets screwed, and there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. Okay, so it's just one of those things that. Um, that uh, um, just don't run Franco with Hellcurt. If your team has Franco, don't run Hellcurt, right? Run, um, and it also you have to have a mobile mage that can do a lot of damage, preferably Kagura. So let's say a, a, a Grok, a, a Tigreal, um, a or Tigreal as a tank, um, a Saber as a, you know, as a peel, or, you know, as, as another assassin. And then you, you have, you pull a mage on it, let's say a Kagura or a freaking um, Harley even. On top of it, and then you you put Halkert right on the bottom lane. You can still put a Haya, you can put a solo laner. It's up to you, or you don't really have to. But minimum requirement, guys. Minimum requirement is this minimum requirement, not requirement. Minimum amount of um, information that you should know. You have to know is this hero is not suited for solo queue. Okay, if you want to battle this hero and go play solo queue, you might as well just give up your rank. You know, just go play casual. It's gonna be a lot of fun to play this hero casual. I can almost guarantee you. Because this, hero, this hero's mechanic is insane, it's insane amount of fun. It's just not suited for if you want to rank up, you know, a solo queue. Even trio, I think you're gonna have a problem. It's not a guaranteed um, victory compared to like any any other hero like Cyclops, like Kagura. You can solo carry, right? So with that guys, let me know in the comment section, what do you think about Hulker? Is this something that you expect also, right? If you have this amount of money, I recommend save it. Save it for Leslie, save it for the uh, next mage that come out, Farsha. I think her mechanic is pretty interesting and she just got a buff in the event server also. So again, guys, love you all. And make sure to hit like and subscribe, turn the notification bell on. And Assassin Dave signing off. See you guys in our next video. Bye now.